What's up everybody, Derek here with the Bass Factory and on a hot summer day we're out here on the creek again. We got a little bit of time to come out here and see if we can go fishing. Uh, but this time we're going to try something a little bit different. That right there. I've got a GoPro set up on this extension pole and it extends out to like 12 foot I think. But what I'm going to try to do is see if I can use some worms and a bobber and just go over to this creek and see if we can catch some fish in this clear water and get them on the on this GoPro underwater. So let's see if we can get out here and maybe get some fish on film. All right guys, we just made it to our spot down here that I like to fish and it's really close to the bank but the cool part about it is that sun is really high and it is hot. And right in front of me, I don't know if I can zoom in down here, if it'll pick it up. If you see that right there, that is a Rio Grande cichlid and that is a big one. That thing is definitely, there's two of them right there. If you can see that white and black on them, right there now white and black they're so cool looking in the water it's kind of hard without polarized glasses on but you can still see this water is so clear and let me zoom back out this is how close we are to these they're just basically right in front of us and the cool thing is we've got this tree cover right above us so I am gonna see I'm gonna attempt and I'm gonna see if I can get this pole out there because about the extent of the reach is right to the edge of that grass that is just right there There's fish on it, but do they want it is the question. Cool, look at all those fish. Here comes the cichlid. Look at all those fish right there. Look at all of them. We're gonna go to another spot and see if we can find some shade. That's what we're gonna do. What's up guys? After a very long hike, I finally made it to something that I found. I found on Google Maps here. There's everybody on YouTube that talks about sewer water fishing. That's actual sewer water. There's a sewer plant just up here that's dumping into this creek. And it is flowing fast and it is so hot. I'm gonna need to get a drink of water here in a minute, but I think I might have found a mother load. If there's some fish down there sitting in that current, it might be on just here in a minute. So let's get down to the end of this. All right, take a look at this. Let's take a drink. All the way down the chute. That'd be fun in a kayak. Check this out. This looks sweet. much better in the shade. I've got it set up right here. There's so many fish down below here, but I got my worm ready. I got the video camera ready down there in the water. So let's see if we can get one of these big ones to bite on film. Come on. There's, oh, just had one. There's one. Yes. Oh no, what kind of, is that shell cracker? That's a green sunfish, isn't it? 
Green sunfish, right? I believe, I believe that's a green sunfish. Look how pretty that fish is. Yep. What kind is it, guys? Let me know in the comment section. I'm trying to learn these sunfish. Oh, no. Oh, man, he jumped before I was able to release him good. I still got my worm. I think this spot's going to be fire. I can see so many fish down there. And this is a good size hole. I bet they just keep coming up in here. Get it back out there. There's one. Oh, that's a good one. Same kind. Just a little bit bigger, I believe. A little bit big. Nah, it's close to the same size. I'm have to get another worm, but. These are such pretty fish. I mean, look at them. So pretty. What kind is that? Is that the same kind as that last one? I believe that's a green sunfish. Pretty fish. All right, another worm. All right, dropping it down in there again. It's probably hard to hear me, but. This is so much fun already. Pull it up, let it set, and it doesn't take long. Oh, that's a good one. What do we got? Oh, they keep getting bigger. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. They're getting bigger and bigger. Let's get one a little bit closer to that wave action. Look closer to the current. Oh, one just came up to hit the bobber. Oh, there's one right there. Man! Oh, that is awesome. I don't care. These things are fun to catch. Another good one. There's one right there. Oh, that's a good fighter. Oh, another thick one. Oh, that one's got shoulders. Took my worm. Let's see how much this one weighs. I've got a scale with me here. All right, let's see how much this one weighs. I've got a scale with me. All right, we're zeroed. I'm just gonna hook it through the gill. Just curious. It's not a lot of weight, but I'm just curious. Wow, look at that, 0.6. I mean, that one's got shoulders on him. Pretty looking. That's a pretty looking fish. Is that a shell cracker or a, uh, oh, what would you call it? Um, I just, my mind went blank. No, that's a bluegill. I believe that's a bluegill, isn't it? Let me know in the comments. I'd really love to know what kind of fish this is.
All right. We are going for the big birth of minna of worms here. I found a big fat one. All right, let's toss this back out here and see what happens. Let's see if we can get it on out there. Right out there. See if there's some sitting out there just beyond that little current right there, in that deeper hole. Might even be some grass they're just kind of sitting on top of out there. Oh, there's a big one right there. Oh, I seen that one come up and hit it. That is a big one. Come here. Get over here. Oh my gosh. That's a good one. I can see that one out there. That is so much fun. Now that one I believe is not as blue as the other one, but I believe that one's a green sunfish. Let's try this one as well. Just to kind of get a reference point for how much these things weigh. Because I'm not sure. I mean, I could guess 0.5 probably. If I was to guess. Get it in there. Not hurting the fish. There we go. What we got? Not even close. 0.36. Looks like a good one though, but... Now I kind of know what size these fish are, so let's put this one back. I think the big ones might be out there in that, that deeper part. There's one right there. Oh man, that one hit hard. That one hit hard. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, we're just constantly catching the same size now. Oh, let go of my hook. There it is, pretty fish. Perfect catfish bait. There's one right there. Man, they are just loaded up out there. Come on. Bye, bud. I always say one last fish, but you know how that goes. All right. Right out there in the junk, right out there where all those fish probably are hanging out. Already. We had a nibbler right there. Come on. Got him. It's a good one. I always say they're all good. They're just fun to catch. This one over here. Well guys, I love catching these fish. They're so pretty. They look huge from down there whenever they hit down there. Just fun to watch them hit and come up here and have them, but they're just such a pretty fish for being so small. They're actually a lot of fun, but let me know what's your favorite kind of fish to go after. If it's like a fish like this, because you're gonna tell me again in the comments, this is green sunfish, I hope, but let me know what your favorite fish is in the comment section and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one.